All right, Coach, uh, pretty successful weekend. I know team results aren't really the big deal on this WT Invitational. Let's just talk about some of the individual performance that you guys saw. All right. Uh, yeah, we're pretty pretty excited heading into the weekend. I know both teams ranked in the ranked in the top five right now in the nation going into the weekend last week. So it uh, gave us some incentive to go out there and uh, maintain those rankings. And we saw a lot of people at home step up. Uh, the weather plays a big deal in things. So be, to be able to get a great weekend like we did here uh, weather-wise, uh, had some great teams here. Uh, a lot of some of our kids really step up. We had uh, uh, probably top mark was uh, I think for Team Fessy number one in the number one uh, long jump in the country. I know Quentin Sansing came through. I think uh, two top ten marks. Number two I think in the 400 uh, meter dash, and I want to say seventh in the 200 meter dash right now. Uh, I think we had a total of uh, ten top ten marks in the country. So to be able to be here at home and get that done right here at uh, WT. Uh, that's always nice to be able to get some get some good work done like that here. How much does that help the athletes being able to sleep in their own beds the night before competing instead uh, of having to be out on the road? I mean, we, we we spend so many weekends out on the road. Uh, just about every weekend we're traveling five to ten hours. Next week I'll travel fifteen hours to California with some of my group. Uh, so to be able to be here and spend one weekend here, not only does it help what we're doing this weekend, but it helps us if we travel next weekend, uh, be a little bit more rested, not have those travel on the legs and uh, just be able to keep on performing at that level and uh, maintain the positions that we're at in the rankings right now because it's still early in the season and uh, we gotta, we got to probably run still a little bit better uh, in all our, all our events, but we're in a really good spot right now. As you talked about a second ago, uh, athletes like Quentin Sainsing and Abraham Snecky, uh, with them dominating their events as, as they are, what do you guys do as coaches to help them get even better as the season goes on? Uh, I mean, th those guys. I mean, you're, you're always you're always fortunate when you have guys like that. I mean, it's, it's almost sometimes you got to hold them back a little bit. Uh, I know Coach Stewart. He's he's our sprints coach, and I uh, uh, work with uh, Quentin, and uh, uh, he's got to hold Q back a little bit here and there. That uh, he's got a little something that you know maybe is 100 percent early in the season. We got to be ready to go come conference. Grab a couple All American titles. Uh, keep building his uh, incredible resume. Same thing with Abe. I think this week that uh, Coach Gibson held him out of uh, doing long or triple this weekend after uh, hitting one, top one, top two marks in the nation Texas Relays last weekend. So it's, it's holding them back a little bit because, they, of course, they want to compete and get out after it every single weekend. Uh, but sometimes it's holding back a little bit, taking a step back, getting back into training, uh, and making sure that you're ready to go uh, at the end of the season. Because as much as everyone likes to get excited right now about rankings or, or marks, it all matters what happens when we uh, go down to Kingsville here in May. How tricky is that balance trying to make sure that everyone's getting better, but at the same time, you guys need to be healthy as well? Yeah, that, that's sometimes the name of the game is just, just staying healthy. And uh, uh, we, we face that all the time is that usually when you're, you're towing that line of being great, you're also towing that line of a big injury too. So, I mean, we're kind of always just trying to have that, I guess, a good problem that our athletes really want to get after it every single day, every single time we compete. That uh, It's more just that struggle convincing them, you know what, we're okay. Just, just take it easy this take it easy this weekend. We'll get back after it next weekend. So, it's challenging at times, but it's, I, I'd rather have that problem than uh, than the uh, the other. So, a few of your ten thousand guys or ten thousand meter guys placed in the top five. Uh, do they have a little bit of a rivalry going on between all of them every time they compete? Or? Oh, this this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, we we just uh, we had to go out and get some conference marks this weekend. So uh, we we just kind of went out there and. Uh, I uh, had, had some fun with the 10K this week just to make sure that we get, get qualified for conference. That was the big thing this weekend. Uh, we'll take uh, some more guys. We had a good 10,000 last week out in Raleigh. One of the boys in the top 10 in the country uh, with that mark. We'll have two more go out and run at Mount Sac in Cal California. And uh, so, yeah, I think most of those guys, they, they may be, maybe a little rivalry, but more so. I mean, we're, we're, we're thinking about, again, uh, at the end of the year, conference, nationals, that kind of thing.